Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is an energy of a passionate beginning. This is someone who feels they want to pursue this new start with you. They're very attracted to you. They feel a strong spark with you. Um, the chemistry is strong, and they love everything about you, your vibe, your aura, your beauty, your intelligence. You really draw this person in. They see you as, or they find you to be very irresistible. Okay, so let's see. We have the Fool, Aquarius energy, the Lovers, Gemini energy, and the Ace of Cups, Water energy. Yeah, this person is falling in love with you. Uh, they are feeling head over heels. With the Lovers being here, they, they feel like there could be a soulmate connection here. They feel like it's mutual. Um, but this is someone who's choosing you. They are wanting to really give their heart to you. Um, with the Ace of Cups, is this energy of a, a, a loving, you know, beginning in a beginning in love so let's clarify these cards gemini Okay, we have the Ten of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a very positive card for relationships. This is showing that this is a connection that, you know, has the potential to last a lifetime. And the emotional fulfillment is long-lasting. It, it stands out. There's this feeling of connecting with someone who you both want the same thing. You both share the same outlook on love and relationships, and you value your values are the same. And this could be someone you settle down with, have a family with okay so let's see we have the three of cups water energy the eight of swords air energy and the moon pisces energy so a very genuine connection at times it may scare one or both of you with the moon and the eight of swords there's an energy of anxiety um insecurities coming up to the surface but these are things that were already within you or whoever is experiencing them and it's like uh because this connection is just so good it, it may be triggered at times um you know there's someone who may fear that it could be too good to be true but at the same time they don't want to you know not enter the connection so there's also an energy of socializing with the three of cups going out enjoying each other's company um connecting with friends you know, really, um, there's some sort of something here worth celebrating around this connection. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Gemini. we have step out of your comfort zone north node so there's a message here for someone to kind of surrender you know um trust the process uh this connection is very linked to your future it's like you're connecting with someone who really complements who you're meant to be like they're part of your destiny they're going where you're going there's something here about a, almost like a a fated connection like it's meant for you know with the north node energy destiny is involved here okay so let's see
Okay, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So yeah, this connection, it looks like it's unlike any other connection you've ever had. And at times it could actually trigger fears because of that. Um, but it does look like the love is very deep and the chemistry is very intoxicating. And this connection, it, even though it's, you know, it's like there's something about it, like you've never experienced something like this or the person you're dealing with feels that way. Um, so there is this need to kind of step out of one's comfort zone. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have destiny it is not in the stars to hold our destiny but in ourselves so there's again that message of this connection is it's linked to your destiny there's something fated about it and it is you know moving you in this this forward direction okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice gemini Okay, we have surrendered to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in, instead of rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.